And KTSM 9 News is getting a first-hand look inside of Sacred Heart Church, where many migrants are congregating as Title 42 is set to expire. And KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap shows us how the church is handling the migrant surge. It's going to be very painful to see so many people outside that we cannot care for. As hundreds of migrants are at the doorsteps of Sacred Heart, inside the church, the priority is women and children. This helps us in the meantime so that we can achieve our goal. This woman from Venezuela is staying inside the church with her five children, saying she was processed by Border Patrol. We heard that families with kids were turning themselves in. So I decided to turn myself in. We have close to half of the population, I believe, was the latest number of people that already have A numbers or process. Sacred Heart is at capacity inside, but that capacity is only 120. But they tell me that many times the father will stay outside so that the women and children can stay inside. In general, I find that the population outside, which is now mainly men, uh, they understand. I think they understand that we cannot help everyone. And there, you know, it's very humbling for me. They're very gracious. They say hello, thank you, Father. The pastor of Sacred Heart says there are some concerns as Title 42 is set to be lifted May 11, and an even larger surge of migrants is expected. Our concern will be just access to our building, uh, the fact that people may get upset because we cannot help them. Obviously, we're going to continue to focus on what we can according to our resources and capacity. Shelby Cap, KTSM 9.